We have to keep our eyes on God. Um, like two Sundays ago, as I was worshiping at church, I really believe God just gave me a vision of, I was kneeling. I was going through a lot that day prior and just even from now, just thoughts swirling of the future and fear and worry and just anxiety. Um, so while I was worshiping, I really just, I was, this is a vision I believe God gave me. I was kneeling on the ground, just like in worship and distress and just looking around me for other options. Like just like, literally like my head is just like this. And then Jesus is right there to me. He's right in front of me, kneeling with me. And he has his hands on my shoulders. He's like this to me, his hands are on my shoulders. And he's like, look at me. You know, he holds my face and he looks, he keeps me, my face on him. Don't, he says, don't look around, keep your eyes on me. That's what I felt, he was saying it wasn't words, but I just felt that from him. Through worship, I got that, received that vision, and I felt that through him. It was like, don't look around, like, don't. Eyes on me. Like, stop looking around, eyes on me. It's beautiful, beautiful blue eyes and structure face, beard, handsome. Jesus, Jesus, I feel so much peace and comfort. And I needed that. Even now, I need that because even today, my mind has been swirling I'm about the future. Like, it will not shut up. To put it blatantly, my mind will not be quiet. Um, but that was until um, I opened up about it. To my family. I've been journaling about how I've been feeling throughout the day and talking to God, trying to read my Bible, praying, you know, asking for help. And obviously God will give me all those things and help me through everything, but <sighs> that's spiritually. I mean, it's real. He's present. He's always here, omnipresent that spiritually physically I'm living with my grandparents so they could see that something was up with me they could see that I wasn't my happy self as I usually am they could see that and I'm sure I felt that too in the room because I have been a little bit distant lately and I've been feeling that they haven't said anything but I've been I know that I've been off um because I've been, I've been feeling off um so I finally opened up to my grandparents about, you know, why I'm worried, my fear of the future, and, you know, I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to happen after August, because, I don't know, I've just been working towards different stages in life, like my license, and, um, yeah. So just fear of just life in general growing in life stepping out in life stepping out in faith the future it's been stressing me out and it's been consuming every single thought i have and it's been exhausting um so i opened up to them about it and it helped they were supportive and helped brainstorm some ideas and reassured me of my feelings and that they're valid, made me feel heard and less alone. Less alone. Because even though I know I'm not alone, I know Jesus is with me. I know I have Holy Spirit. You know, in my heart, I got Jesus in my heart. I know that. I know God hears every single thought I have, every single tear that falls. He sees, he hears it all. I know that. But having that earthly, visible, um, 
real, God is real, but I mean like presently seeing my grandparents, talking with them, being open with them. It's very helpful. Um, so I just want to encourage you that if you're going through something, whether it's fear of the future, fear of the unknown, or whether it's stress about a test coming up, or stress about getting your license, or maybe something with friends happening, you know, bad friends, or financial issues, financial fears, financial gain, you know, needing help with pride or humility, and having pain, whatever it is you're going through, feelings of lust, temptation, trials, tribulations, heartache, hardship, pain, English, whatever it is, I encourage you to pray, you know, talk to God first and foremost, tell him what's going on, absolutely, but also, our actions affect people, and the way we are, people perceive us, and if you're down, people are going to see that you're down. And I think people in our life who are close to us want to help us. Most of them at least, hopefully. Um, so I just want to encourage you to please open up to those you are close to. Even those you weren't close to. If it's a therapist, that's something I need to start doing. But that's a whole other personal issue. Anyways. I just encourage you to please open up to people. If you're someone who doesn't like to do that, I'm right there with you. I do not like being vulnerable with people. I know what needs to happen, but I don't let it happen. Really, ever. Um, it's something that I don't like about myself because I wish I could just be open and vulnerable, but I find it very hard to do so and trust people and just everything. But I will say I feel a lot better after doing so. I'm really happy I did. I have no regret with doing so. It was the best decision that could have happened today. And I'm so happy that God let there be a moment for me to share with my grandparents how I'm feeling and what my thoughts are and where my head and heart's at. Um, so please, if you're going through something, whatever it may be, please open up to someone. Please let yourself share your feelings get someone else's opinion, you know, open up, please, to a trusted adult, and just, it's okay, let them know what's going on, they want to help you, okay, it really helps talking to someone one-on-one, -on -one. and I just, I just encourage you to please open up to someone, and let everything bottle up inside is just gonna come spewing out at some point and it's just gonna make each day worse and worse and worse and worse and worse the more you just bottle everything up it's not gonna help anything so please open up to someone talk to someone and get it out <sighs> like exhale it out get it out you have to get out your thoughts you have to get them out And they're out there and you're just like okay boo i can talk to them about that feels so much better that's how i feel oh, and it's such a huge relief and weight lifted off my shoulders and i just please do it if you've got that person in your life you can talk to please open up to them please please i promise you you feel so much better afterwards um if you don't have a person I'm here. I want to help the best I can. Um, God willing. And I know I don't respond to every comment, but I see them all and I appreciate every single one of them. And they mean so much to me. Um, and I see you. And so does God. And he hears you. And if you want to reach out to me, um, please do so. Please do so. I'll, I'll try.
try to get back to you. I'm sure I will. It might take a day or two, though. But, um, yeah. You're not alone, and God loves you so much. And the people around you love you so much. And are just here to help you in some way or another the best they can. So please open up to a trusted adult you have in your life. Please open up to them. Let it out. Just please let it out. Let it out. Ask God for help to be open. Ask God for help. Ask Holy Spirit to give you the words to speak to these people in your life. To really just be vulnerable with them. To break off that barrier of fear with being vulnerable. Ask God for help and guidance with him. He will help you like he helped me tonight. You're not alone. We're in this together. God sees you and he loves you so much. It's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Some way or another, it'll all work out. Because God's got you. God bless you.